quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for today's video, it's going to be another one of those videos where I show you what I sold and then I show you what I found. So before we get to that, I just want to take a minute. Uh, my channel has reached a milestone that I'm pretty proud of, but I owe it all to you all uh, because I want to talk about my subscribers. I just hit uh, 1,500 subscribers, which for a channel that's only existed for four months, I am super surprised and super grateful and super thankful for all of you and your help. I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you very much. <laughs> so let's talk about sales. So I think a lot of you have noticed that I, I do a lot of toys, um, but I've noticed from the sales um, that are recent over the past couple of weeks, it's been a lot of things that aren't toys. I mean, there's some toys mixed in, but I actually sold a, a decent amount of clothes. You'll see as I kind of go through the list, but yeah, you just never know how things are going to go. So it is nice to sell a variety of items. That way, if, you know, it's not a big week for toys, that's okay, because you have other things that you sell. <laughs> so here's the list. So first off, uh, we have this Andre Ware jersey. It's autographed and authenticated. I couldn't believe this. I bought this for $5 at a garage sale and I thought to myself, it's authenticated. You can get more than $5 for this, but I wasn't complaining. So I bought it for $5 at a garage sale and it just sold for $80. So that's a nice $75 profit before eBay fees. Next we have, um, one of the Monster High dolls that I purchased that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace, I bought those three brand new Monster High dolls and they're all the same. Um, so this is the second one that I've sold. Um, it sold for $50. And so that gives me a $30 profit before eBay fees approximately because I think I paid like just maybe just under $20 for each one. So that was a good, a good flip. Next, I did a little retail arbitrage at Walmart um, before the holidays, and I had these Grinch blow molds that I noticed were selling for twice as much, actually more than twice as much, as they were worth. So I picked some of them up because I thought to myself, hey, blow molds, you know, people love blow molds. So uh, I sold one after Christmas, so, you know, it can happen, even though the Grinch is a Christmas character, he can still, you can still sell Christmas stuff after Christmas, so have faith if you have Christmas items in your inventory that you're still waiting for them to sell. So this one um, sold for $34, I bought it for $15 at Walmart, made $19 before eBay fees, so, and that's the second one of those I sold, I think I still have one more, um, and... I sold the first one for a little bit more, but since it was after Christmas, I, I dropped the price slightly. So good to see that they're still selling and they're really cool. These are just little like desktop blow molds. So they're, they're small. Next, uh, we have a Disney planes airplane. It's sort of a cargo plane. I have sold this before. I bought it um, for $5. It sold for 30. So that is a 25 dollar profit before eBay fees. Next, we have a Patagonia fleece. Now this one, the value kind of dropped since I purchased it originally over the summer, which kind of surprised me because you would have thought the value would have been lower in the summer, but mine, I had to kind of keep lowering the, pl the price a little bit. I bought it kind of high for $25 uh, at a yard sale and I sold it for $42 which only left me a $17 profit, not terrible, nothing to really complain about, except the fact that the value went down from what I purchased it, but that kind of stuff happens. That's the risk you take uh, when you're reselling. The value of things doesn't always maintain. Next, 
we have a very nice uh, North Face jacket. I was super excited to get this from Goodwill recently for $15. And it's sold for $66. This jacket was in mint condition. It was really, really nice. I knew it would sell decently. This was actually a youth jacket, but it was a youth extra large. So, you know, potentially a smaller adult could wear it also. Uh, but yeah, that's a nice $51 profit before before eBay fees. So that was a great flip. Next, we got some music memorabilia. This is not vintage. Uh, this is, you know, a more current artist, a country artist. They love the country music here in North Dakota. So this is Thomas Rhett. This is a, a, a jacket from his tour. It's a windbreaker style jacket. I bought it at a garage sale for $5, sold it for $35. Took a little while to sell, but still made $30. Uh, so that's fantastic. Next, another slow seller. Uh, this is a vintage Guinness shirt. It doesn't look so impressive from the front. The back is pretty cool. Maybe I should have put the back of the shirt as the main picture. <laughs> Hard to say. But I bought it for a dollar. I sold it for 20. It's a $19 profit. Next was a pretty recent purchase I talked about in another video and this is those dragon age action figures one of them sold so that was really exciting i bought the pair for thirty dollars and i sold one of them just the other day for a hundred dollars and that makes a nice 85 dollar profit next item i featured in one of my shorts um, this is a Joy for All companion cat. It was in Salvation Army with the plush. And it's really not a plush. It looks like a plush, but this is actually something um, that elderly people use to keep them company that can maybe maintain a real pet. Uh, it's also good for a lot of other people too. So, you know, they use these for a lot of different reasons, but they're very detailed, intricate, animated, robotic. Uh, this guy worked perfectly, bought him for $5, sold for 70. I, and I did do free shipping on that. So the profit was a little bit lower. I think it was around $55 profit, but no complaints. Next, we have an Everybody Loves Raymond DVD set. I could not even get this quick enough on my finds before it's sold. So this I bought for, I think, around $10 at Goodwill. And you can see what it's sold for. It's a good profit. I'm happy that I found it. And then last but not least, um, I just wanted to give you all a little update on my storage unit finds. I actually sold the, this is a little while back and I just, I, I actually accidentally forgot to put it in an older video, but I sold this, uh, the Funko that I thought was so cool. Uh, that thing sold, which was great. As you can see, I made some profit there. And then also I sold, um, one of those pairs of hockey skates that I got locally, you know, just for 12, I have 12, $20. So it wasn't, you know, a huge profit, but it was, it was a quick flip. It was easy to get rid of. So people love their hockey skates around here. So, uh, so I'm in the green officially on my storage unit, which is great, but there's still many items to go. I still have to list some of them. I'm not quite caught up on that just yet, but I am working on it every day. Always good to list a few items every day. They say five is, is kind of the ideal number. Um, what I usually end up doing is I try to list around that many and then I also refresh listings that are older than 30 days because they say that's a good thing to do to keep your listings current in the algorithm of eBay. So definitely made some money recently on eBay. And again, this is my side hustle. So I'm not aiming to, you know, make it my full-time pay or else I'd be thrifting a lot more. You know, I'd love to thrift more. I'd love to do it full-time. I just can't at this time. Uh, and one other update um, on the fines side of things. I, I can't actually show you me picking these up because I purchased them online. But I bought off Marketplace uh, this for real monkey he was only 15 dollars. he's worth around 
50 and he's brand new. So I picked that up, probably one of those Christmas gifts that somebody didn't want. You know, that's what's great about this time of year. Um, so you can find things like that. And then the ultimate find happened on Facebook Marketplace, as it often does. And I have not got this in the mail yet, but I cannot wait for it to get here. The seller did confirm with me that they shipped it out on Sunday and they're all the way in California. So it might take some time to get here. But this shirt I found on Marketplace is worth huge money. Vintage promo horror movie shirts are amazing. For those of you that watched my recent um, sales of 22, 2022 video, uh, you saw that shirt that I sold um, from Halloween, the movie that was, you know, I sold for $369. This one I think is actually even possibly a little bit more valuable. So this shirt that I bought for $20 on Marketplace has sold in the past 90 days for $400. Huge, huge score. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get it. I cannot wait to list it. I cannot believe I even was able to get it to begin with. And it was so strange because I wasn't even looking up that style of t-shirt at that time. I think I was just looking up newly listed items that were for both, you know, shipping and local. And, and it just appeared, you know, and, and I was like, oh, and I said, that looks really expensive, you know, so I looked it up and sure enough, $400. So that was an amazing thing that fell into my lap. And I feel very fortunate that, that I found it. Now I just got to sell it, right? But I, I'm optimistic that it will, that it will sell pretty easily. So we're going to move on to part two now where you can watch me shop for a little bit. And I, and I did find some amazing things lately, so I hope you enjoy. So I am at a thrift store checking out the new items that just came out. And this is a great example of sometimes I buy things that I don't necessarily know what they are, but I, I feel something inside that tells me it's valuable uh this is uh made in alaska Pan. it's very high quality wood it is an ulu bowl not sure what it is but they're worth about 30 35 dollars so i'm gonna take that next i'm at goodwill and i'm looking around the, the knickknacks section and i discovered something really cool this is a bag full of vintage state magnets. Didn't know that these were valuable, but again, something inside me told me to look them up. And I did, and it turns out if it's a complete set, it's worth close to $100. It turned out there are a couple of states missing, but I was able to purchase them for very little cost on eBay. So I hope to sell those for $100. Now I'm looking at um, a bag of, of vintage aliens movie figures. These are really, really cool. They have been priced up a little bit, but I, I just thought they were too cool not to buy. Maybe it's because I liked the movie when I was in middle school, but I ended up buying them and I hope to make around 60 on them. Next, I am in the toy section of the same store, but on a different day. And I've discovered an American Girl carrier. It is in great condition. Whenever I see American Girl stuff, I look it up because there's a lot of value to be gained from American Girl stuff. So it is definitely worth looking into um, whenever you see anything American Girl. It's not that everything's valuable, but at $10, there's room for profit. Now I'm at Goodwill looking through the clothes and I find a pair of baseball pants. These are Mizunos and Goodwill actually had these priced very reasonably, especially because they're brand new. I could not believe it. They have them priced at $5. Who could believe it? It would be so cheap, brand new. They're worth a little over 30 new. So I definitely picked those up and moved on. So next I am in kind of a random section of Goodwill and I discover a blanket. This is a Peanuts blanket. It's from a company called Berkshire and Goodwill wanted $8.99 for it. So that's a reasonable price. These blankets can sell between $30 and $40. And being brand new, that's a great pickup. Next, I'm in the clothing section and I find a North Face jacket. 
They have priced it only $10. It's got a little bit of pilling on it, but I really like it. This is going to be one of those items that I debate keeping for myself because it is my size and I really like it. So if any of y'all look on my eBay store and you don't see it, it's because I kept it. <laughs> but next, I had shown this in a short, but I have to show it again because it was just the ultimate of, fine, of cool finds, I should say. They had at Goodwill a vintage Blockbuster employee hoodie. Very cool. There is not another one of these on eBay at this time. So I've got this priced decently high because it's very cool. I've mentioned in other videos, employee shirts sell very well uh, from certain companies. And Blockbuster has a lot of nostalgia associated with it. So this one's going to be a seller. Next, I got really lucky. Goodwill brought out a new rack of clothes. And for whatever reason, my Goodwill doesn't price up immediately when they bring these racks out. So if you can get something right away, you usually can get a great deal. Have you liked this video yet? If not, don't forget to do so. What are you waiting for? Because this is the end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next time.